Today we got another exciting unboxing video from Moza. Usually when you see me in this seat, we're either drifting or racing, but we're slowing our rolls a little bit today. I'm Dan with Dan's Gaming Van. Today we are taking a look at the sim racing rig in the passenger seat of my home. We're going to be talking about Moza's brand new TSW trucking wheel. Showing you guys what comes in the box and giving you guys a close look at the wheel itself. Going over my first impressions and doing a little bit of gameplay with it. And I'll also be touching base on Moza's new trucking bracket that they released alongside this wheel to be able to get a proper angle on your wheel. Anyways, I'm going to crawl out of the rig and go around back of the van with you and show what we got in the garage. Although the whole back of my garage may look like a mess, there's one thing in here, two things in the garage you might be interested in. Let's go inside the van, open up these packages, and check out Moses' brand new trucking wheel. So obviously you guys already know what I'm going to be pulling out of this box because you read the title of the video, but for me, this is all brand new. I'm super excited. I haven't got to really look at this yet. The box is huge. And ever since this steering wheel has been in the top, I was extremely curious on how big the rim is. Oh, there we go. Here's our answers on the side of the box. A 400 millimeter wheel. Since I'm a stupid American, I have no idea what that means. Hand stitch microfiber leather grips, aviation grade aluminum rim, programmable RGB backlit buttons, racing grade modes, a quick release, and programmable RPM light. But also we got a little goodie to go along with it. We're actually going to open this up first. This is a box I didn't even know I was getting. I don't even know if I'm going to put it to use completely yet, but it is kind of an essential for having the steering wheel and it is the truck mount bracket you might notice this box hiding over here i just filmed the moza sgp sequential shifter video if you guys want to check that out there will be links in the description let's fold out of the box and let's see what we're working with here two clamps two l brackets a bunch of hardware and then the main base mount I think that I got it put together right. Let's try bolting my Moza R3 up to it. So we got the truck mount bracket all put together. There's a chance I have my bracket and wheelbase upside down. We're just gonna ignore that since we are hurrying to make video. But you can see how much you can adjust the angle. If you wanted to have your steering wheel be at a complete 90 degree angle, it is totally possible to do so. You can angle it all the way down to a normal driving position, 90 degrees the other way, and anywhere in between, which is giving you all the adjustability you might want. So obviously everything in the truck mount bracket kit just allows you to be able to change the direction of your drive shaft of your wheelbase and aim it more upwards the way a semi-truck wheel would sit. Now the moment that we've all been waiting for, the big daddy. I think this wheel is going to be absolutely massive. This is feeling way bigger than the RS's packaging. As always, you get a user manual. I can't imagine there's going to be too much in here to teach me about this wheel. Just a quick release guide, get a yada bit of job. And also, as expected, it comes with a sticker sheet, as most of Moses' wheels do. And uh, you have got a lot of options here. Load on, load off, and then a few different color layouts. And they got a few examples at the bottom here of how you could lay the stickers out yourself. This is the most realistic feeling wheel that I have ever touched. I cannot explain what this leather feels like, but there's something different about sim racing leather wheels and real life car leather wheels. There's a plug on the back. That's really interesting. This quick release has got a different feel to it than the usual Moza quick releases. I don't know if it's a different material or if they just painted it in a different matte color and that's what's throwing me off with a different smaller logo just to try to make it look a little bit more clean since this is supposed to be a trucking wheel. But we've got two joysticks and I love how low profile these joysticks are. Look how low profile that joystick is. So yeah, everything about this wheel, magnificent. A couple things that stand out to me right off the bat that a normal sim racing wheel might not have is this selection of buttons over here. Like I say, there's a bunch of stickers to customize your buttons, but it does come with these logos hard printed on the wheel. Those are extremely satisfying buttons to click resume set and increase cruise control speed something you almost never would see on a sim racing wheel also have got preset blinker buttons on each side which is really cool low beams high beams you gotta resume cruise control even have a windshield wipers button settings button home button just a couple of things that would be really nice to have in trucking games all right let's toss this thing on my wheelbase and uh, see how it looks in the van 
That looks nice. Looks really nice. Let's turn on the wheelbase. Ooh, I like those LEDs. They they went for a uh, kind of a different LED style, and I like that. All right, let's see how it feels. It's ginormous, dude. This wheel is absolutely huge. I feel like the wheel needs to be angled upwards a lot more. It feels just how you would expect a trucking wheel to feel. There's no other way to say it other than it is a massive freaking wheel. I love the way the buttons click. Love the way the rollers roll. I love the joystick. I wish that my RSV2 have the same joysticks as this wheel because they'd be a lot less likely to get broken while I'm drifting. So to quickly wrap things up while we're testing the wheel. So to quickly wrap things up while just testing the wheel out, playing a little bit of games here, the wheel's amazing. If you guys are going to order the wheel or any Moza products, I would greatly appreciate if you use the links in the description. It's not any more expensive for you, I just get a small commission from it, and more than anything, it just shows Moza that I am promoting their products and that these videos are reaching people that are actually interested in their products. The realism that having a full-size trucking wheel provides while doing trucking is really night and day. Something feels really weird when you got a race steering wheel covered in carbon fiber, flashing lights, carbon paddle shifters, and everything a race car would have. It just feels a little bit wrong. And if you don't choose to put stickers on your wheel, I think that the layout of buttons that they have is super tasteful for truck sim. Having volume buttons for running your radio, blinkers on both sides and windshield wipers, along with cruise control, um, all on your all on your wheel is definitely just another step of immersion and it's it's pretty cool um, ever since i was a little kid i always loved video games that you can turn a blinker on This thing absolutely rules. It's safe to say that this wheel is definitely essential for anybody doing some sim trucking. Just look at it. It's perfect.